<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Songs of Six. Look at these guys working, working hard, beating the shit out of these little dummies. I figured something out. I didn't know. Uh, apparently, you can send, or rather I knew this, but I just didn't really put one and one together. You can send these divisions out here, you see? So this is my Dondarian division here is a hundred and just a hundred guys with eight armor and eight weapons in their full training. I can send them out into the world map for just that small amount of resources to my army, right? They're gonna go do that and they become a part of that world army. I'm not quite sure how that works. I believe, yeah, so this is the way it seems to be working. Your boyos will come over here and they'll start to gather their equipment. Looks like these, they might not even gather equipment, they might just go straight away. And that, that's a hundred guys leaving our populace right there, but in reality, they've been training their whole lives for this moment. Look at them. There's a hundred of them. And they're going to join the army. In the, in the end, it's, they're going to be the ones that make the difference. I promise you. Here they go. Let's check our world map and see what's going on. So the division number one has made it. They've got their experience, their melee training, and they're almost full. They've got eight armors and eight weapons. And let's check. They did not take their equipment from the home base here. But they seem to still count as the populace. I'm of the opinion that I can train quite a few more of these regiments very quickly and house them in this area. So while I'm doing my thing and building and doing some decorations and other things, and I'm sorry to the person who said um, that they'd like to see like a longer bit where I decorate. It just doesn't fit the current build. I might do it for the next, but the way that my current series is running, I just don't see it happening. I like the way I have it going where I Cut, cut through all of the nonsense and I show you guys what I've got like all these fucking massive cannons Basically ready to catapult the shit out of anybody who comes into our, our town and Stuff like that. So we sent out our garrison, right? But we still have the same raid chance because total army counts So no one wants to fuck with us No one wants to fuck with us at all and these guys once they, they actually get there we're missing a few um, we'll send out another, we'll send a few, and I'll, I'll do a couple groups of training, and we're going to keep trying to figure out where this enemy army is. I'm going to send these stinky Kryptonians out on a mission to do that. And I'll see you in a moment if I get into battle, if something interesting happens. If not, you'll see when I've got some new buildings, hopefully. I'm back, I'm back. So we have unfortunate news. Our city is doing good. That's the one thing. But our war plans are gonna have to hold up. I tested our army strength against Ducal. And needless to say, they have way better guys than us. I did record quite a bit and I'm reloading an autosave from before I, I declared war on them because I don't want to lose the series to some nonsense like that. Just for an example of what I had to face, they had an equal sized army, uh, but they were all above 80 to 90% training, and most of them are well equipped and ranged. So, in order to get our army up there, we're going to have to train and equip a bunch more ranged guys at our base. We're going to have to equip and train Dondarians like a motherfucker. And we're just gonna have to do a bunch of crazy ass work. I had 
put in a bunch of um, new nobles and got us to 4k, but since we had to reload the save, that is no longer part of this, and I'm going to have to redo all what I did, but I built some new houses in here, and I'm going to do that in the next one. I've been recording for a few hours, though, so it's quite a, quite a bit, and I don't want to keep going. But I did train up a bunch of groups of 50, or rather, there's 60, saying no soldiers are being recruited. It's, it's not fortified. Why are you not fortified, guys? Um, they, these guys are the little, like, skirmisher units, but now that I'm looking at it, it seems to me that this army is not going to be versatile enough to be off what I need to fight off. I think that these guys are going to be kind of like frontline guys, and we're going to need to keep doing what I'm doing from the city capital here, which is training guys up to 100 melee training with 8 armor and 8 weapons apiece, and then sending them out. So if we send these two guys out, that would leave us with 4 groups of 100 Dondarians at 100 uh, skill. That would be decent. It wouldn't be enough to fight off what we need to fight off. I think I need about 800 total. And we're going to need to make a couple human groups. Um, their range training being at 47% is okay. But what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to actually end up taking their melee training away. Or just doing, doing off the melee training. There's going to need to be a lot of work. A lot of work. Because the enemy armies that we have to face are no joke. They are... Brick and Breaks army of Ducal. They have an army of 2,600 somewhere in these forests, and they have another army up here, 6,000, 7,000. And um, I hadn't fight, I had, didn't fight the 6,000, 7,000 one. I was confident that I could beat them based on the fact that we had similar numbers. But when I went into combat, uh, our 33% melee training is not anything compared to guys with 100%. So all seven of these regiments I didn't even need to fight the battle to know that I was going to lose just the same way I, I didn't need to fight the battle to know that the 33% Talapis were not going to beat out 100% trained Amevians and other groups so there's that we may have to free slaves or we may have to do something but I'm going to leave that for my future self and maybe even a different playthrough in the future because let's get to that point in the city where kind of become bored and I I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes and I know exactly what I want to do and fix I probably wouldn't do slavery I think I would go back to my multiracial city and have every race in the city and try to do it that way and just have them sectioned off like I had before in uh, Borkia my previous city but I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching I know it's, uh, you know, sometimes a slow series to watch where you don't really know what's going on. I just kind of pop back in and I'm like, hey, I did all this cool stuff that you didn't see. But I try to, I try to experiment because I see that a lot of people just record like full hour and a half long episodes of six. And I don't want to show you guys two and a half hours of me playing songs of six. So figured I'd change it up. Oh my god, look at all these broken roads. We're gonna need to fix that too, but I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.